Hello. One of the things I get asked more than anything, especially at Calidad concerts, is how do you play fast? How do you play so fast? How can I learn to play fast, etc. The first thing to say is there's no easy way, there's no shortcut, there's no magic pill, but you already knew that. So I'm gonna show you some things that have helped me play fast. One of the most important ones is something that I do, not quite religiously, but regularly to this day, which is a simple chromatic picking exercise. When I was about 12 years old, my first guitar teacher, Mr. Damien Robison, said to me, if you do this picking exercise for 10 minutes a day, one day kids who go to other high schools are gonna talk about your guitar playing. And that to me seemed absolutely ridiculous. But now many years on, been traveling the world playing the guitar, so I guess there's something in it. I'll show you that exercise. It's not particularly interesting or musical, but this is my favorite thing to do when I'm practicing speed. So the pick, I'm using a Dunlop 1.14 millimeter pick. That's quite thick. I like my picks quite thick. I like to be able to just bend them a bit, but everybody has their own style. So don't take from what I do, but that's just what I use anyway is a thick pick. Um, thin one might even be faster for a lot of people. Pick is held pretty normally. Once again, different people hold the pick different way. I hold my pick pretty normally. It's not quite at the end, but not too far up either. The pick is a lever, so the pick is kind of making your fingers longer. So you can just see it's a pretty standard pick hold. And we're gonna do alternate picking. So we're gonna down, up, down, up, down, up. Pretty much for every stroke that we do in this exercise. And later in other videos, I'll show you things where the picking is less regular, but now we're gonna do alternate picking down, up. And now we're gonna do is play chromatic scale. So every note we're gonna go, one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. And just go across the strings. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down. And you can just go back to the same way. Down, up, down, up. this exercise around the neck and in fact I encourage you to move it around the neck. Each fret of a guitar is a very slightly different size so it's really important to train yourself in all the different frets. Just down up down up. I'm gonna change to a different position. My truck's gonna it's really important to play very precisely so when you want to learn speed if you train your fingers and your ears and your body and your muscles to play in a sloppy way or a scrappy way, you'll A, never get particularly fast and B, what speed you do have won't sound particularly good because it won't be precise. So precision is really important. So when you're doing these exercises, don't, paradoxically, even though we're here to practice speed, we're not actually practicing fast. We're practicing slow or mid-tempo and making sure that every note has a, a clear, clean sound. And when you wanna get faster, over time with your practice, your muscle memory, your body will just know how to play this stuff, the picking and the left hand, and you'll just get faster naturally. Another really nice way of doing a similar thing is with the minor pentatonic scale. That's only two notes per string. That was a bit sloppy. And you can do ones where you go like, I might go um, up three strings and then jump back a string and then go up and jump back. That was sloppy. And you 
might be sitting there going, well, this isn't fast, this isn't cool. What the hell is this guy talking about? What the hell's going on? But I promise you that the same technique of alternate picking here that we're practicing in this slow is the same thing that gets you. Quite extreme speed is just down, up, down, up, down, up, practiced for many hours over many years. Good luck, let me know how you're going. If you want more tips, I'm happy to give them. If you give some suggestions how the lessons can be better and more helpful to you, I will be very happy to upgrade the lessons in that way. Happy practicing, thanks for staying in touch. Please subscribe, see you later.